Let's hit the saddle, eh? Give us the back here, eh? Us Brits are just crazy for the costas. Where is Bonnie's You know it's not going to rain. No. <laughs> <laughs> it stays on the plane, you know. Over 180,000 of us have said bye bye to Blighty and Ulla to a life in the Spanish sun. Big moment. This is where I either go, yeah, or mm. Making that dream a reality can be tough work. Come on, we've got a busy day. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. But living on the costas might just be worth all that hard graft. Cheers to the sunshine. We're going on a pedal or? Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. That's why there will always be... Beautiful warm weather. Cheap and cheerful. Nightlife. This, this is paradise. Bargain loving Brits in the sun. Today on the Costas. Cook Carolyn hopes her new menu launch is a smash. I'm getting more nervous and more anxious. Wait. Mancunian Wayne's going all out to surprise husband Des. We haven't kept this secret for months. And flamenco first time a bow is flailing. I'm just wiggling my hands around. It's harder than we think. Shh, it's all cloak and dagger in Benidorm tonight, where 51 year old Wayne is planning an epic surprise for his husband, Des. Good morning. It is 12.15 a.m. on Father's Day. I am just about to leave to the airport to pick Jody, our daughter, up. I've been lying to my husband for months because this is a huge surprise for him. He thinks I'm going to pick my mum up. So I'm going to drive now, so I'll speak to you all later. Bye. Des hasn't seen his 24-year-old daughter Jody for a few months, so it's going to be a big surprise, and Wayne wants it to be perfect. Oh, look at these posh and vets. Checking herself out. Never mind checking yourself out, you're beautiful. Jody has brought her 25-year-old boyfriend, Jacob, a semi-professional footballer, with her for Desi's surprise. Here we are now. We're just about to sneak up and surprise Dad and wish him happy Father's Day. So here we go. Are you ready? Come, let's go. Des? Oh, you <laughs> Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I see you. Oh, here you are. <laughs> right, get to bed, you lot, and we'll see you in a mo. I don't know what's going on. Has everyone had too much coffee? But someone else is also up at the crack of dawn just down the road in Albia. Uh, I've got my handbag over here. Mustn't forget my handbag. Midlander Val Daly is up at this ungodly hour because she's organising a Costas coach trip. Prize for me. Uh, I do a prize for me top booker. I said booker. This is for one of my ladies who's got the most people on the coach. Known as Ding Dong Val because she's one of the top salespeople for a famous makeup company, Val's also been doing coach tours for the last six years. Welcome this lovely Sunday on our coach trip away. We're now heading south to Casada. Hooray! Val's been keeping her trips local, but coaches crammed with people for the journeys means she has a captive audience to sell her makeup to. Oh, we've got one left, one left. There you go, my darling. It all just works so well together. It really does. Well, they can't get off, Val. The excursions are monthly, but Val is broadening her horizons and expanding her coach trips to take in other costas beyond the Costa Blanca. Do. Oh, dear. Does anybody else have problems like this? Oh, it's the bane of my life, Val. Today, she's taking her first coach trip all the way to the Costa del Sol, over 500 kilometres away, 300 in miles if you're not metric. She's fully booked for a two-night stay, but is also using the getaway as a chance to explore and uncover the best the area has to offer for future jaunts. It's time to get my friends up. They've come to stop last night because they live an hour and a half away, so they've stayed overnight. Are you eight, girls? 
Yeah, now. Do you want a coffee? Christine, one, one. Yeah, lovely. I'll go and put the kettle on. Right. Christine and her friend Sandra are coming along for Val's big Costa del Sol adventure. Christine and I have known each other 14 years now, and me and her used to be guides together for a company. And over the years, any special event she comes up for, we've always kept in touch, and um, she likes some of me cosmetics too, so that's a bonus. She's very outgoing, so of course, everybody likes her. She talks a lot, so. That's how she gets on. Val's been living the expat lifestyle for nearly 20 years. Ugh. And she doesn't live alone. Oh, they're all here. That's Scruffy. Scruffy! Hello, are you going to say hello? And here's Emily here. Morning, Emily. That's Emily. She's not hanging about. There's Tilly over there. I have six cats. They're my familia. Jack's scared of his own shadow, aren't you, Jack? You gonna say hello to Mummy? Not today, okay. Emily, aren't you contrary? But there's no time for pussyfooting around with your six cats. Have you got to hit the road? There'll be a coach load of people waiting for you. Right, we'll shut the window. Are you coming in, Jack? Jack! Right, do you want to get your stuff then, girls? Yes. Come on then, Tilly. Jack, come on. Nobody's going to hurt you, darling. Dilly wheelie. Come on, Val. You've got to hurry up. Chop, chop, Val. The Costa del Sol is calling. Oh, she loves, oh, she the, loves cats. the cats. Back in Benidorm, it's a brand new, beautiful day. And Des is getting over the shock of his surprise visitor. I can't believe it's Father's Day and she's turned up to surprise me. Absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon. I'm just really excited to be here with the dad <laughs> and surprise him. Father's Day. And after all his plotting, husband Wayne is determined that everyone has the best Father's Day ever. I'm going to cook Jodie's favourite chicken dinner. Um, I'm going to sit down and have a family lunch together and they can go off and have a father and daughter catch up and just have a perfect little family day. Wayne swapped life in the UK for the Costas nearly 30 years ago. After 20 years here, I met you, didn't I? Yep. And I've been here... 10 years. On 10 years. Yeah. 10 years. God, I deserve a gold clock. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne works as a drag queen and Des is a DJ and together they both run a charity that helps victims of domestic violence. Being so busy and Jody being based in the UK, spending time together is precious. Well, I saw her a few months ago in England, but she's not been over here for four years. This time she's here for two weeks. Des became a dad when he was 23 and Jody met Wayne 12 years ago. Get the roasting tray out. And he became her stepdad when he married Des seven years ago. It's all about Des and Jody today. They're so close, it's lovely to see the bond between them. Sometimes you'd think we were a best friend rather than a dad's. Let's make this a Father's Day, they'll never forget them, Wayne. Coming up! Restaurant owner Carolyn brings a twist to her normal menu. Today is going to be experimental. And tour guide Val takes no prisoners on her day trip. Jeffrey, you talking in class? <laughs> you get more than slapped hand. Seventeen kilometres west of Malaga, on the Costa del Sol coastline, is Benel Madina. This is for tonight, this is the Oxtail. Where Londoner Carolyn Rennie is preparing a feast. I normally do the Oxtail um, like as a weekend special, but it's really popular, so it's now going to be on the menu. Tonight, she's um, testing out her new summer menu for her Caribbean yeah. restaurant on 20 guests and wants it to be perfect. OK, we're back cooking. I just think it's important to refresh the men menu and get our customers' feedback, really, so that we can get it right to a certain degree. 
Carolyn's had her restaurant on the Costa del Sol for three years and employs three people, but she's in charge of cooking and the menu. And I haven't put anything on the old menu on today because I know it's so easy to kind of go back to something you like. So today is going to be experimental. Bold move. She updates her menu every six months so the customers don't get a chance to get bored. OK, we are off. But before Carolyn can get cooking, she needs to pick up some supplies for tonight's event. On my way to go and pick up some rum and uh, some soft drinks. Carolyn originally came to the Costa del Sol on a work trip as a business coach and it was love at first sight. I landed in um, Granada and I just remember literally getting off the plane going, I'm home. Three months after that trip, she made the move. And five years on, she wouldn't change a thing. I think I'm really kind of proud, really, to be bringing Jamaican cuisine to the Costa del Sol. I'm of Jamaican heritage, so being able to, to bring my heritage and my culture in terms of food into Spain is kind of like a privilege, really. Yeah, but you can't live on paella and fry ups alone. Hola! Ah, oh, muchas gracias. Vas a usar bolsa, cacas. Uh, the... Carolyn can source most of the ingredients she needs for her menu quite easily in the Spanish shops, and there's one thing in plentiful supply. And I've got my, my rum, so at least we know we're good to go for the rum punch. You all right? Do you, do you need a hand? No, 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 she's got it. Nice one. And it's back to the restaurant to get that food ready and see if her new dishes can wow her customers. Back in beautiful Benidorm, 47-year-old Dares is celebrating Father's Day with his 24-year-old daughter, Jodie. So this is the garden. This is Wayne's pride and joy. That's lovely. So, while Dares and Jodie enjoy some father-daughter time, her boyfriend Jacob is on kitchen duty, with Wayne preparing a Father's Day roast. You can be in charge of carrots. You should have told me I'd be cooking. I would have brought my apron with me. Oh, I've got you on. <laughs> Ta-da! Perfect. Now you can have it like that if you want, or you can have it like that. Got to go like that. Of course, yeah. Oh, maybe you want that then. Thank you. Jacob and Jodie have been dating for two years. I came last year for one day and saw Des and Wayne out here, but I was on my own that time. So now with Jodie, it's a lot more fun and a lot more everyone's involved. We're well, well, just you. coming out of holiday. And I was got to work in the kitchen. Well, case. Looks like you pulled the short straw, Jacob. Jodie's having a lovely walk with her dad and dogs, Rocco, Pepe and Dolores. They're not the clever dogs, are they? Watch. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Dolores fell for well, it. There they go. <laughs> He's gone all the way down there. <laughs> Rock off, not even throw one. Des moved to Spain in 2011 and Jodie chose to stay in the UK to finish her exams. <laughs> <laughs> so where's he gone? Where's he gone? Although far apart, they remained close and she spent all her school holidays in Spain. I wonder how they're getting on. <laughs> Well, in the kitchen. It's bankrupt when we get back. You know, with Wayne, it'll be all the trimmings, everything. I know. I'll bet they're grafting hard to make you the perfect Father's Day lunch. Is it the holiday I imagined? Well, this isn't the holiday I imagined so far. Oh, <laughs> do you know what it is? <laughs> Across the costas, it's all aboard the fun bus. Val and the gang have arrived in Torremolinos for their tour of the Costa del Sol. I'm doing my registered check so no, nobody escapes. Right, Christine and Yvonne, yeah. Diane Bennett. Tour guide and top makeup saleswoman Val Daly is getting her coach load of expats ready for their first day trip. They're going to Malaga. Lenny and Jeanette, Brian and Sue. She's brought her friends Christine and Sandra along for the ride. And Jeff and Kreisha. Yeah. Yep. Val's organised this two-day trip for 45 people. 
It costs €399 Euros per person, which covers the coach and driver, two nights in a hotel, day trips and a few euro for Val. For putting all this together. So today we're off to Malaga City and so looking forward to it because I've never been there before and we're going to the market, do a bit of retail therapy, having a few free samples, I believe, and some flamenco dancing as well. Olé! Sounds like fun. <laughs> While she's there, Val's keen to discover if Malaga can offer some new activities to keep her tours interesting and keep her customers coming back for more. Morning, everybody. Morning. Are you all excited for today? Yes. That is what makes it for me when everybody's happy and they want to come with me on more trips, then I know I've done my job properly. So I've got lots of interesting things to tell you as we're going along. I'll tell you a little bit about, well, quite a lot about Malaga. And you don't laugh at me if I don't pronounce things right. <laughs> OK. Vamos, one lot. Blah, 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 blah. One Carlos. Easy for you to say, Val. Right, Malaga, here we come. OK, Malaga is a municipal... <laughs> See, I'm wrong already. Come on, Val, it's hardly red lorry, yellow lorry. Never mind. Malaga is a municipality of Spain. Who's talking? Geoffrey, was you talking in class? <laughs> you get it more than a slap down. From the 6th century BC, the city was under the hegemony of ancient Carthage. If Malaga comes up in a pub quiz, Val, oh, we'll all be laughing. I'm sure they put these words in just to confuse me, yeah. Those guidebooks have it in for you, Val. With a captive audience on the coach, Val can't resist the chance to sell some of her slack. Just to remind you, the shop is open. Yes. You don't get to be in the top five saleswomen in Spain 12 years in a row for nothing. Ding dong, Val calling. So you want some pain gels, didn't you, Piri? Yeah. You want two, OK. You'd like one of them, Mary. Still got some perfumes and a few glimmer sticks. Yeah, yeah. Go and check my stocks. <laughs> right, glimmer... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you love me really, don't you? I think my total so far is just about 230. And I keep trying to have a rest and they keep making me work again. It's awful, really. <laughs> What a terrible bunch. I've heard of a cash cow, Val, but this is a cash coach. Hold up. We're here, folks. We're in Malaga. So there's the port I was telling you all about. It had an ancient Carthage, I think. The day trippers will be doing their own thing once they get off the bus, but Val has special plans for her and her friends. Christine and Sandra are really looking forward to the flamenco <laughs> dancing. I'm going to the market, freebies, getting some freebies, aren't we, hopefully? So, yeah, you've got your dancing shoes, haven't you, girls? Yeah. Let's... First time for flamenco dance, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Christy. Here we are on the Costas, living the dream. It's lunchtime on the Costas Arcade. It's time to start thinking about a spot of grub. Here's a thought for today. Why not try something a bit Spanish instead of your usual toasty? Well, for me, you can't beat a cheap and cheerful tapas. Love a bit of calamari and patata brava. Or if you fancy pushing the boat out, get yourself a plate full of paella. Happy days, our kid. Ooh, all that talk of food's making me hungry. Hi, Tony. Hi, Paul. Over in Ben Madina. Rum, 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 rum. Okay, we're rummed up. Carolyn's cooking up a storm at her Caribbean restaurant. Let's just have a look how my curry's coming along. Nick, my butcher, managed to get me some beautiful mutton. Really, really. Oh, God, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. The restaurant is booked out tonight for Carolyn to test out her new menu. Um, let's just see how we all are, how we're doing there with the oxtail. Oh, wow. That is ten... Oh, my God, I'm getting excited. Ooh, me too. It's about me bringing 
from my foods, where my family come from, to the country. Oh, nice. Oh, the country is vibrant. Why not have vibrant cuisine that complements that? It's the only Jamaican restaurant for 30 miles, and it's a cuisine that's still not well known in Spain. OK. But business is booming, and that could be because most of these recipes have been passed down from her family. My auntie, who is no longer with us, she has always been by my side when I opened the restaurant on the phone, taking me step by step through how to cook most of the dishes. Aha! Uh -huh. OK, everything is ready, marinated, to go. Tonight, Carolyn is putting her experience as a business coach to use, test driving her mutton curry, oxtail and jerk mushrooms, amongst others, to see if they deserve a place on her summer menu. I like to get people's feedback, um, and I like people to be, our customers to be involved and have a kind of influence over what they're eating. Their input, their feedback is really important to us. And it's not just the menu that's okay. getting a makeover. <laughs> Graphic artist Laura has been creating a new look for the restaurant brand. Do you want to have, come and have a look, Kerry? Um, Here we go. <sighs> These are the final ones. Carolyn's hoping to expand her brand in the future by selling some of her homemade sauces to customers, so she wants a logo that will stand out. The idea of tonight is to go choose between either this or this. Yeah. And, and, and the color. And the color, yeah. yeah. So that's because that's pretty much what I've come down to. Yeah. Kerry, Carolyn's front of house manager, is keen for a look at the final designs. And also, Carolyn wanted the little woman here, the little chef. <laughs> so it's in everything. The little chef. <laughs> hey, we got this. <laughs> Tonight's 20 diners will not only be judging the food on the new menu, but also giving their opinions on the new branding. No pressure then. Time check, please, Kerry. 4.30. 4 4.21. OK. With just over two and a half hours before guests arrive, it's all hands on deck. Beautiful chopping there, Letitia. These are for the, um, for the salads that are going to go to the plate. Have the tomatoes and the, the grapes and a pineapple. Now we're coming so much closer to time to start serving our customers, our guests, I should say. I think I'm getting more nervous and more anxious and I just want everything just to be so perfect. It's very important to me, it really is, because they've taken the time to spend their evening here eating our cuisine, so um, it's important that we give them what they came to experience. Coming up... I'm so hungry, my belly's rumbling. Will Yorkshireman Des need to talk to the manager? I can't believe it's not ready. Uh -huh. you back tomorrow. You're going out to <laughs> And saleswoman Val is on a mission in the market. Three samples. These Just outside Benidorm. Oh, look at that. Des is spending some quality time with daughter Jody, who's made a surprise visit for Father's Day. It's nice, I enjoy it. I enjoy getting time to spend with him and the dogs. Although they're close, now Jodie has a full-time job as a warehouse assistant, it's getting harder and harder for her to visit. It's been like so long since I've been here. It's been like four years almost. So to come over and surprise him, and it's Father's Day as well. It's like the first Father's Day we've spent together in so long. So it's good. It's amazing. I didn't even I didn't expect this in my wildest dreams. I didn't expect this. It's just so lovely to see her. It's a nice view, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? Look at that hole in the mountain. Is that like a thing? They said the giant kicks it out, and that's what that rock is in the sea. Yeah. See, that was that was once part of that rock, and a big giant kicks it out, and it landed in the sea. Wow. Peacock Island. If you believe all that. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving Val a run for her money, Des. Shall we go back and see what Daddy's cooked? Come on then. Somebody's hungry. Everyone's hungry. Oh. I'm so hungry, my belly's rumbling. 
Wayne and Jody's fella Jacob have been busy getting a special Father's Day roast ready for their return. Yeah, half an hour, I think, but I do it Yorkshire, get the bed job. Oh dear. Dinner ready? Oh. Don't you touch a thing in that kitchen. Because if you do, I'll break you. Oh, I can't believe it's not ready. It's not organised, are they? No. <laughs> you are. If it, this was left to you, we'd still be waiting for <laughs> Oven to be turned on. Quick, Jacob, distract Des. Who been helping? I've done all the work in there. Oi, oi, Jacob, you did the carrots. Better not let Wayne here. Oh, oh. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Pack your bags, come on. You're going home to your mother. I'm not supposed to tell him that. Well. <laughs> you lot carry on like this, and dinner will be in the dog, Father's Day or not. <laughs> Arriving in Malaga, Midlander, Val and her coach party of day-tripping expats are ready to explore. See you later, folks. Have a good afternoon and day. See you later. Bye. Bye. While the trippers are let loose to check out Val's recommended landmarks, Val will be exploring with her friends. And they've had enough history for one day. Got a fun day lined up. Christine, Sandra and Piri. We're going to the market first, aren't we, girls? Later on, we're going for flamenco dancing. So we're looking forward to the flamenco dancing, aren't we, girls? Yeah, yeah. Flamingo? Yeah. Flamenco, Val. Come on, girls. Come on, let's go. Let's head off. It's not just a sightseeing day for Val. While in Malaga, she wants to find some fun things to add to the agenda for next year's visit. So I'm looking at for um, places of interest, at least two, that I can then add to my, my notes for future reference when we have another trip up here. She's got her eye on the famous Atarazanas market as a potential crowd pleaser. But first, they've got to find it. This is the cathedral we've got here, the Catedral. Catedral? I've only stopped on a cruise ship, so you don't get to see things. So it's lovely to walk around, see all the sights. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of history here, isn't there? Yeah. Enough history, though, eh, Val? Right, should we head off then? Yeah. Oh, shoe shops. Shoes. We like shoes. Oh, is that the price? Perhaps don't like them as much as I thought. We like a bargain, we do. If only we could find this blooming market, we might be able to bag some. Oh, is this it? There you go, we'll be able to have some free samples now. Val has high hopes this market will be a hit for her future visits. So we're off to the... As, and as they're, they're laughing at me, because they're all people on the coach now don't pronounce things. And as they're... I can't say it. Atarazanas. Atar... No, right. Atarazanas. 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 We're going to the Anna Ratatas. Atarazanas. <laughs> We're going to the Anna Ratatas Atarazanas. market. Atarazanas. Atarazanas. Atarazanas market in Malaga. I'll give you that one. We're at the market. Food tasting. Finally, the Anna, or oh, whatever market, is a food market based in a shipyard and is famous for its seasonal local produce and Val seems to think it offers freebies. Let's look for these free samples then. Free samples. Are these free samples? What are the red things? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Wow. Look at the colour. I don't think I've ever tried one of them. I've never, I've never They're very bland. It's all aesthetics. <laughs> Still looking for free samples. Are you sure this market has them, Val? Oh, hang on, these might be free. Try one of them, you will start loving olives. They're not free. Told us we had to buy and we tried. We're in trouble again. Oh dear. Oi, Piri, stop it. He wasn't a happy bunny. Thief, and less happy with every gobful. 
I think a quick exit might be called for, Val. I don't think really this type of market is really appropriate for people because we've got nowhere to store things till we go back. It's nice to have a little look around, but it's not something that we would, I would promote strongly on another trip. And there were no free samples. At least your recce was worthwhile. The only way is up, Val. Hopefully, flamenco will fare better. The market may not have hit the spot in Malaga, but when it comes to the costas, we rarely go hungry. Yeah, it's like a buffet, isn't it? It's just like a conveyor belt, you just do whatever. We've got a mass variant of different foods you can have, but they're all very nice. We're quite sort of happy to eat Italian while we're here, or Chinese, a couple of nights ago, so we don't really try and stick necessarily to Spanish cuisine. It suits everybody, from fish to steer, Italian, Indian, Chinese, Ikea, that's for everything. Yeah, that's the only downfall, the food is pretty bad. There's always one. Over in Ben Madina, you could get your gob round Jamaican food at Carolyn's restaurant. Well, they're fully booked tonight. Flutes, where are we? Do you want to get the... Let's get... What time is it? Five, two. Okay, so we could probably open a couple of bottles. Owner Carolyn's invited 20 of her closest friends and best customers to give their opinion on her new menu. There you go. She also wants their feedback on her brand new logo. First guest has arrived early. Uh, Ricky, can you get Nick a um, drink for me, please? Nick is Carolyn's butcher and he's originally from Bromley. It'll be his first time trying out Carolyn's cuisine. I'm looking forward to tonight. Looking forward to taste some of her food. It's always be good reviews. Nick's come alone, but that shouldn't be a problem at Carolyn's. I love it here when I might have a table over there and a table there and a table there that don't know each other and within 45 minutes, everybody is talking. I mean, I can't ask much more than that. Well, it looks like everyone's keen, Carolyn. Your guests are arriving early. A guest arriving? Fantastic weather. And Carolyn's been called away from the cooking to do some hosting. Are you all good? Uh, all good, yeah. All good? All hungry? You Very must be um, friends. Yes, I'm Your name is uh, Maria? Maria and Paula. Pleased to meet you. Welcome. Come here. Your family now. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. I'm here and I'm going to try the new menu with all my friends. And we eat here all the time. We come here all the time. The food's really, really good. But it's just uh, the new menu we're really excited about. To see what it's going to be. Everyone's settling down and relaxing out front. We're all going a little bit goo -ga, goo -ga, and we're going to literally end up slapping each other in a minute. In the kitchen, it's a bit more tense. Right, OK. All planting is ready. Reese, if I can have um, six mini fried dumplings, please. OK, Roy, do me a plate for uh, chicken wings, please. If you we can get them out as quickly as we can, yeah? Where's your table plan? The new menu might be over before it's even begun. Mind the... <laughs> Five hours up the coast in Benidorm. There's a few more hungry people. Right, come on everybody. Dinner time. Eat time at the zoo. Wayne's cooked a full roast in 80 degrees. Me at the head of the table. They're celebrating Father's Day and husband Des's daughter Jodie's surprise visit along with her boyfriend Jacob. Starving now. <laughs> Where's my dinner? Where's my dinner? It's coming, Des, please. Need a hand, love? Yeah, you ready? Yes, love. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ooh, chicken and a gravy sauce. All day cooking and no one could even pour me a drink. Poor Wayne. Every one of you in trouble. Don't be creeping now. I've got all the Archer buddies to myself. Dinner is served. Nice, Archer. I'll try some of Jacob's carrots. Famous carrots. Famous. Jacob, those carrots are a triumph. And moments like these are extra precious when you live over 2,000 kilometres apart. 
His and Jodie's bond is just amazing. They're so close, and to pull off such an amazing tree, it's been wonderful. Jacob and carrots are cooked to perfection. Thank you. He didn't cook them, he sliced them. <laughs> cooked to perfection. Stop weighing everything in us. <laughs> yeah, I think she loved it, to be fair. And I think Des did as well. well it's hot, sunny, good food. Can't get any better. It wouldn't be the same without your carrots, Jacob. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Spending Father's Day with them both. And when I'm here, it does feel at home. This is so First, isn't it? I think we can call that a success wave. Thank God Father's Day only comes once a year. <laughs> so what's happening after lunch? Sleep time. Yes. Yes, sir. You'll need one after you've washed up. I left you a right mountain of hops. That don't surprise me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just been the best day ever. Best Father's Day ever. You wash, I'll dry, Des. Coming up, Chef Carolyn spinning plates to get all her customers served. OK, hello, I've got a um, mutton about to go out. And tour guide Val's bottom of the flamenco class. Oh, yes, it's harder than we think. This is here, not here. Just outside of Malaga in Fuengirola, tour guide Bal and her pals are trying new things she can add to her day trips in the Costa del Sol. We're doing the flamenco in a little while, so we're doing the recce today to sort of try it out and see what we think of it for future reference. If she can offer flamenco lessons on her tours, she could attract more punters. I've never done flamenco dancing before, but there's a first time for everything, isn't there? Alicia Lazaro has been teaching flamenco for 39 years. Come on, girls. Oh, we're looking forward to this. She regularly gives lessons to tourists. Hola. Hola. Hello. Encantada. Encantada. But she's never taught Ding Dong Val before. Oh, I'm a great dancer. I'm a great dancer. No. <laughs> It's easy when she does it. Alicia might work wonders on your two left feet. I'm just wiggling my hands around. Okay, no. No. Okay. See? Oh, yes, it's harder than we think. Yeah. Got two wooden legs today by the look of it. I don't think Strictly will be calling Val. Good music, I'm getting line, Christine. You're out of line. Come on, Christine. Cha cha cha. And before you can say stick to selling cosmetics, Val, the class is done. Well, that's it now. We're perfect flamenco dancers. Pues muchas gracias. I was the worst dancer ever in the flamenco dancing. Uh, my arms were going everywhere, my legs were going everywhere. Nothing was in, in sync. But anyway, it was good fun and that's what matters, isn't it? Life is about having fun. And we definitely did that. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fabulous. Fabulous. I was a dreadful student, but it was fun. I loved it. Lovely. Now let's get them wooden legs moving or you'll miss your own coach. Have you had a lovely day, everybody? Have you all seen lots of Malaga? It's very historical, Val. But for the Costa Blanca boys and girls, is it worth coming back to? I wouldn't include the market another time because when we're on holiday, you're not really looking for food and there wasn't any clothes or anything there. But the cathedral, um, people were asking about the flamenco dancing. So I think that's something that people might like to do another time but I've learned a lot more about Malaga that we can include on other trips at the time, so, so that's all good. Then your recce was worthwhile, Val. Malaga, they'll be back. I bet the market's gutted. 
Well, it's been lovely. Particularly the dancing, it was really yeah, good. Enjoyed the dancing. Yeah, we'll have to practice in the bedroom. Wake everybody oh, up. Oh, really? <laughs> That's us now. We're back off to Torre Molina. See you soon. Bye. Bye. At Carolyn's new summer menu tasting in Ben Madina, 20 friends and customers have come to put her dishes to the test. After a panic in the kitchen, the starters finally arrived and they're going down a storm. Oh my God, that's lovely. Yeah, lovely, good. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, delicious. All the starters are finished now. We're just going to collect them all and now we're going to prepare the main. Oh. But Carolyn's feeling the pressure in the kitchen. OK, ready to start plating in a minute. So we need to get that side wiped down clean and dried. And you're going to put your rice and your rice and pita salad on all the plates. As well as testing the new dishes, Carolyn wants customer feedback on a rebrand for the new product range she intends to do. You like to explain everything to each table? Thanks, darling. Carolyn wants her guests to choose between four designs. Getting customers involved with what she does is all part of Carolyn's ethos. Yeah. These two are the same. No, the same they're, they're all different, yeah. I like this one. It should always be a quick decision. <laughs> I like that palm tree. Yeah, that palm tree is a nice palm tree. Yeah. I can just take you out. Yeah, I'm going to this because it's your bottom one. Great. The guests are engrossed and my money's on green, but the branding has distracted everyone. OK, hello, I've got a um, mutton about to go out. Service, please. The results for the logo are in. We have two, four, six, eight, ten on the beige one, and we have Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven on the green one. So I think it's the green one. I told you. Now, what about the new menu? Nice. Lovely. I think it's a very authentic uh, Jamaican food, so it's delicious. It's delicious. Out of ten, um, I'm not going to say eleven because everyone's going to say eleven, aren't they? So I'm going to say uh, fourteen and a half. Out of ten. Can't say fairer than that. I apologise to any mathematicians watching. We've actually managed to get to the end of the day, and um, wow, it has been a great day. Beautiful people, they enjoyed their meals, even new friendships have been formed. Couldn't ask for much more. Shattered, knackered, but overjoyed. Well done, Carolyn. That new menu looks like it's going to be a hit. And don't worry about the washing up, Reese has got it. Next time on the Costas, radio DJ Happy Days Graham is looking for love. Do you like raisins? And do you fancy a date? Bar owner Shane and Chrissy's event is about to fall apart. We haven't got a barbecue, the main important part. And entertainer Rocking Stephanie unveils her new look. I'm going to introduce the double denims. 